All right, guys, welcome back. Today, I'm going over this system with my Asus and Armory Crate. It's generally going to be more so leaning on Armory Crate. My Asus is very simple. I will point out one thing before I go to Armory Crate, however. Uh, battery health, it's very easy to set this up from this area. I believe you can get into it through Armory Crate too, but uh, just depending on what you're doing, like... Um, I have the maximum lifespan mode, for example, because I have multiple monitors set up. I have this set up on basically like a desktop, and it's not going to, it's always plugged in, but it's going to um, not continuously charge. It only is going to hold the battery 60%. Uh, you can set that. However, if you're traveling, if you're staying somewhere, I do recommend um, you don't want to end up taking your PC somewhere and only being able to play it for 30 minutes um, after you've had it for a few months. So we're going to go ahead and get out of this. When you go into, um, let me see, customization here, uh, you'll automatically see here, proceed to Armory Crate for advanced settings. Um, so it's going to automatically take you to Armory Crate, and that's what we're going to get into here. And you may be using a completely different laptop setup computer and still be using the Armory Crate interface, so this is not just specifically for this laptop. I will be doing some other videos, so if you guys are interested in seeing some upgrades for the uh, Asus Stuff Dash 15, uh, or just break down video, take it apart, see what we can do with it, make it as, as good as it can be, um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Of course, leave a like for this video as well. Uh, here you can select different modes. You can run on Windows mode, silent, performance, pretty self-explanatory, turbo if you really want to push. Um, you know your performance as much as you possibly can it's gonna be loud I'll go ahead and note that um, game launcher you can click into these two you can go over you can also register instead of registering through my Asus you can basically do everything through armory crate my Asus like I said is very basic and not really necessary to go over um, here your app configuration we'll go through the the side screen you can reach a lot of it through here as well but let's go ahead and go down to device See your system. You can turn on IGPU mode and save your battery life further. I'm not necessarily concerned about this. I'm usually doing gaming. If you're doing less intensive things, you can change your battery here, have different options. The other settings, uh, your lighting here, you will be able to go to the Aura Creator um, or Aura Sync is the next tab down, but you can also get through it. You'll see that you can get to each of these different profiles or sections through one another in several different ways. Um, audio, you can update. All right, there's actually more to this audio section and I didn't want to leave it out of the video. So I did do the update and had to restart my system in order to edit this into the video. Uh, but basically you're gonna go in here, uh, you'll probably get this real text default enhanced voice recognition option is currently turned on. You need to turn that off to enter the to use and utilize the two-way AI noise cancellation they have here set up. So you're going to click OK. It'll take you into this uh, Realtek Audio Console area. Go in here and microphone effects. Turn all off. Go into the microphone array. Turn all off. And then you should be fine. Let's try it now. We're turning this on. Okay, so this is a two-way noise cancellation. I'm not sure if you can tell the difference in the video here. It's something I'm going to have to play around with myself. Uh, but my input and the output information here as well, self-explanatory, uh, noise cancellation effects, record and preview the noise cancellation effect. I'll be able to tell in my video here, but I didn't want to leave that out. So let's move on to that resource monitor here. Hopefully the noise is better here. I don't know. I'm going over a little bit with the voice over here, editing this in from uh, the audio section. But here you can go to the resource center and just see, uh, you know, basically what's being utilized, your GPU, everything. Uh, if something's not quite right, you may want to go and check things out here and see where the problem may be. It's good to be able to see everything in one place here. Or if something's not quite right, you can always go there to check it out. All right, and then we go into here, and of course, this is the Aura Sync. This is where I was telling you about the lighting. Um, if you go into your lighting here and you have these three sections, you can always go into Aura Creator or Aura Sync. 
uh, you would sync up your device to use with the Aura Creator here. As you can see, this no sign, it's not compatible. Um, I can't go into here. I'll pull it up and show you. If you can't, don't run yourself in circles. It just means that you simply have one color lit background and you can have it strobing, breathing, or static. Um, and those are the only options you have. So don't stress out about your lighting. You're not going to be able to do anything about that if that's the way it is. I'm using external monitors as well, so this doesn't really apply to me unless I'm playing on the main monitor, which is a 144Hz screen too. It's a great monitor to play on. I just like my external cur curved screens on the sides, and they're way better in themselves, but this laptop does have a pretty impressive screen. Uh, but you can change everything here for different games. If you're playing a racing game, uh, first-person shooter, uh, different color temperatures for everything. And then you can go to your game library. It's pretty good about picking up on games. I have a lot of things on here that it's not going to pick up, uh, depending on where you downloaded them from or what the games are, I guess. But uh, it's pretty good about that. And also different scenario profiles. Here, you can set profiles. I have my one profile set up. If you use your computer for gaming and then you use it for something completely different, you like to get into different profiles, uh, you can have your touchpad for example set off if you know that you're going to be playing with a, a mouse and if your touchpad's on at all it's of course going to if you touch it at all you're gonna miss somebody do a 360 get shot in the head mess yourself up they also have here gaming featured games kinda like a setup I wouldn't recommend going through here unless you want to really see if there's a price difference from something you would get on Steam or Epic Games. Um, I like to keep things simple and it seems like there's more and more places to buy games from and launch them from but uh, I really unless you're trying to save some money or you see a good deal somewhere here don't see I wouldn't recommend using this. Um, a lot of these games here can be played for I mean free on different different things just get a PS Now or um, Xbox subscription and then here of course different just news simple things if you're interested in looking into this but that's pretty much it if you guys have any specific questions you'd like me I will answer in the uh, comment section down below um, I'll get notifications I try to respond to these type of videos as much as possible let me know what you think don't forget to leave a like subscribe I'll see you guys in the next video